Hey there, it's Haley, and I just wanted to show a quick video if you're looking to create some DIY baseball pennant banners for your baseball team. I've created some designs that you can find in Etsy that are editable, and you can make as many pennants as you want. And there's a lot of examples from other customers on how they hang them up on the dugout, or actually they've used them for uh, travel ball games at a state for tournaments where you can hang them up for hotel door signs. And then also you can use them at the end of the season as a baseball party favor gift to give to all the individual players at the end of the season as a memento or a keepsake for them. So let's just go into Canvas so I can show you how to easily edit these uh, pennant banners that I have in my Etsy shop. So First of all, I'm going to duplicate this page. That way I have the original one to go back to if I want. And let's start here. So you're gonna click on any box, highlight, and then let's put in our little league name or whatever, you can put a division here. 2023, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna click highlight my team name. I'm gonna put my, my city. You're gonna put any team, well, you're going to put your team name for your, your season. I'm going to leave name and number alone right now. And then I also have a couple pages up here where I have stars and bats and ele different elements. I also have text that's a baseball text and then athletic text, whatever you choose that you want. If I want to use this one instead, I'll just go in and hit copy. And I can delete that and command V, it will paste it in there. It's the baseball looking text. We'll put it here. If you like that better, then, then use that one. It's up to you. So we're going to leave that. And then I'm also going to add some stars. So I'm gonna use these stars. You can change these colors by going here, click on it, you see the black color, and then you can hit purple or whatever your color combos are. You can go ahead and just click on the color picker and you can, you can see you can change it. It's a little, it's going really slow, but I wanna do, a maybe a deeper purple color okay so now i'm going to highlight all these copy and then go back to my template sorry my computer is super slow right now and then we're going to go paste command v or right click paste for some reason my right click click and paste is not working and then I'm gonna have them also on this side. And I think that's a little bit too much purple, so I'm gonna put this one back to black. That's all you have to do is just click on it, change color, black. And then now I wanna upload my logo. So you can either have it from your desktop and drag it straight into Canva, or you can go to uploads, upload files, then you're gonna find your logo that you wanna add. And I'm gonna just hit open and then it will come in here. See, I've already uploaded it from before. And then in here, you're just gonna click on it and it will add to your template. You don't wanna drag this one because see, it takes over the whole design sometimes. So all you have to do is just click and then it will come onto your template. And now I want it smaller, so I'm gonna grab these handles on the corner and just make it so it's right on top of the bottom of the corner of that baseball. Because when you do go to cut, these are your crop marks to cut off the ends of the pennants. You don't want this to be cut off. So if you put it like this, your logo will be cut off. So we wanna keep it down here in this corner and you'll be safe. 
So now that I have the pennant basically the way I want, what I'm going to do is if I have seven players or 10 players on the team, can't have seven, you don't have enough for a team with seven players, but if you're going to have 10 to 14 players, all I'm going to do is hit duplicate page and it's going to make a copy of my template exactly the way I want it. And now all I have to do is go in here and edit your name and the number. So there's a grid view and we can click on the grid view and it will show it right here. You can also go in here and hit copy paste and same thing, you're gonna get a copy of the pennants the way you want. So I have three right now. I want to add some more. So I'm gonna go copy paste, paste, paste until I have all the pennants that I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we got 13 pennants on here and all we're gonna have to do is go in and edit the name and the number. I'm gonna edit name and the number. And then go to the next one and you're gonna just edit the name and the number. And I do want to also show you how you can change the colors of this. So the main color is you're going to go to your text color right here, and then that's going to be the outline. And then effects is what the color is inside. And I really like the way that looks kind of pops more than this one. So what I should have done is changed this before I duplicated all the pennants because now I like this one better. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm actually gonna delete these. I'm gonna select all of them if I can. It's not letting me and just select and delete. So I'm gonna go back into this, this original one and I can show you again. So I like this color and this affects better and, and that's just going by going into effects and then color here. See how you can change it to different colors here. I really like the purple. And I'm also going to show you how to size your name with the line spacing. So now let's go back and duplicate this. So I have more pennants, and then all you're gonna do is edit the name and the number. Ping, I'm gonna put number one. So here I can go to spacing and I could space it a little bit more. If you don't want it curved, then you're gonna go into effects and the shape right here, there's none or there's curve, and then you can slide this scale so it's a little bit curved, it's really curved, it's up to you how you wanna do that. And then if you wanna make it bigger, you grab the corners to make it bigger and smaller. And let's see, let's try, let's do a long name. Okay, that still fits pretty good. And I like using last names but it's up to you. First and last names get a little bit too crowded, so I would do either or. And let's see, so spacing, see, you can do a little bit. You can also change the font. If you don't want this font, you want a different font. You come up to here, and there's a lot of different fonts you can choose from. That one's pretty cool. That's like a bolder font. 
So like I said, make sure your first pennant is exactly the way you want it. Play around with it first and get it exactly the way you want and then you're gonna duplicate them all. And then that way all you have to do is go in and just edit the player name and the number. And let's put this back. I hit undo and it goes back to the way I had it. Now it's not letting me do the number. So I'm going to put the number back. And then to download your pages, what you're going to do is go to share, download, PDF, print for printing. You can select all pages to print or you can pick the pages. I want to pick the pages. So I'm going to deselect all of them and then I'm going to pick the pages that I want. Starting with page four is where I started editing them. And then you're going to hit done download and then it's going to download in your downloads folder and then all you have to do is print. What else did I want to show you? I think that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to convo me through Etsy. If you don't see a certain color that you need for your team, I can get colors up super fast uh, within 48 hours. So just let me know and hopefully you like your, the video and I will be sharing some more soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.